hey and thank you as always for clicking play or autoplay kicking in and forcing you to watch this video either's fine with me now if you watch my uk pickups video you will be aware that i yes indeed i brought back with me a trojan light phaser although i kind of didn't because heathrow airport um Funnily enough, they rejected the idea of me taking a gun-shaped object onto an aircraft. And while I could keep the box and the discs, obviously, I had to give up the light phaser itself, even though it clearly looks like and feels like a toy. Because it is a toy, right? Um, and they were very apologetic. I have nothing against the staff. Let's face it, if it wasn't for terrorists, I'm going to say it, um, these rules wouldn't exist. We should be able to take anything onto a plane, right? It's only because of bad people that these rules are implemented and the blame lies squarely with them. So, yes, this is now essentially an empty box. Or is it? Grab your favourite drink. Mine today is peppermint tea. Mmm. Because there's a bit of a story to tell. And it involves the tale of two eBay sellers and another YouTuber. <laughs> but inside here, spoiler alert, yes, I have at last, once again in this box, a Trojan light phaser. So before I forget, thanks to Lee who forwarded this on to me. I had it sent to his house and then he forwarded it on, along with the stickers that you would have seen midweek um, to save on postage. So here we go, I've got the manual, I've got the two discs, they were all originally in this box, and I've got a Trojan light phaser, most importantly, with a nine pin D connector. Now why am I pointing that out? Because there was an eBay seller, and I'm not gonna out them, but the other YouTuber involved might, um, <laughs> so uh, there was another eBay seller selling what looked to be in quite good condition, a Trojan light phaser unboxed and they had it advertised as an Amiga Trojan light phaser, but it had, and I spotted it, a 25 pin D connector. Okay. Meanwhile, the seller of this particular gun had this for sale as an Atari ST light phaser, even though it has a nine pin D connector, okay? I pointed out to both sellers in very good time, and I've got screenshots, which I think I'll share with you, of the page on in the manual, which says, and I will read it to you. In fact, it's literally, on page three, it's the opening page of the manual, right? It's the, it's the first page with text inside the cover. And it says the following. Amiga only. The light phaser must be plugged into the joystick port. Port two. To load uh, the software supplied, blah, blah, blah. Then it goes into software supply, okay? Well, we all know the Amiga joystick port is a nine pin port, okay? It also says on the very same page, Atari ST only, the light phaser must be plugged into the serial or RS-232 or modem port. Well, that on an Atari ST is a 25 pin D connector. Okay, so the 25, din, the 25 pin D connector is the Atari ST version as per the manual, okay? So I kindly pointed out to that seller, mate, you don't have an Amiga version, that's the ST version. He argued with me and refused to change the listing. Now, obviously I didn't buy it, but that remains relevant, okay? The seller of this one that I now have also argued with me, despite sending them uh, uh, scans of the, um, the manual th that I've just read out to you, and they didn't believe me and wouldn't change their listing. I had to do the three offers before I got an offer that they would accept. And I said, look, it's untested. You're saying it's an ST version, whereas I think it's an Amiga version. 
this is my final offer and they finally accepted which was a sensible offer but not far, far off what I paid for a boxed version. To be honest, it was a little bit too much. I'm going to give you some spoilers now. I've already tested this because I tested this off screen. It's an Amiga light phaser. It works. And I'm saying that in inverted commas because there is a slight issue which I will come to. Now, the other YouTuber involved is George Tui. George Tui is a very kind bloke. He's the one that gave me the zip stick at Kickstart, okay? Knowing the issues I'd had at Heathrow Airport and not knowing that I'd already ordered a replacement light phaser, George took it upon himself to order a light phaser off eBay for me. He was going to send it from the UK to me. And in fact, he proudly sent photos of what he'd bought. And imagine how I felt when I had to find a... I don't know... A like a subtle way of, of, of thanking him, but also pointing out that he bought the wrong gun. Because guess what? He bought the gun from the first seller. He would bought the one with the 25 pin Atari ST connector because that first seller had refused to take my advice and refused to change the freaking listing. And I'm actually really angry about it. Now, long story short or short story long, as I tend to do, um, George did manage to send it back and get a refund and he's actually now he's going to be doing a video so look out for that because he's bought and he'll tell his side of the story but he's also bought a boxed Trojan light phaser for the Amiga in better condition than my one I must say that um, but the only thing he doesn't have is the manual um, but he's got the discs and he's got the gun and it looks white this you can see is quite brown but yeah so there will be a restoration going forwards. Okay, that's the weird news out of the way. Let's plug this in and have a play. And I'll show you what the issues are with this particular gun. It's not bad news, but there's a bit of work to be done. Okay, so first and foremost, I mean, I've been really enjoying uh, looking forward to um, doing a video about the Trojan light phases. This is just not in the way I expected. Um, but let's have a look at the box. And there's the front of the box, as always. And I would have bought mine from, and a slight correction to a previous video, what I, I would have said I bought this from Wisbit Games, but a slight correction and an update will be coming. Actually, in the Amiga years, Wisbit Games in Tunbridge Wells was known as Invicta Software. So there you go. Same shop, different name. Trojan Light Phaser, I know 100% that's where I bought mine from. And there's the back of the box as well. This box will be getting an iron. You can see it's due one. In the box, the, the in uh, plastic inlay is coming apart a bit and is brown in places, but that's fine. We've got the Trojan Light Phaser manual, which has a few pages of English and then rinse and repeats in most of the European languages. Um, I can't see if it has an American language version, so people in America won't understand any of it. There we go. English, Dutch, Espanol, Francois, and Italiano. Um, there you go. Nothing for the Americans. They'll be clueless. Um, because they can't read English. So, here we go. What do we get? We get Skeet Shoot. Actually, I need to be nice to Americans, because uh, Chris Edwards is going to be... Um, He's going to be the online guest for Porg, which is the day after I drop this video. Uh-oh. Um, so we get Skeet Shoot, which I have very fond memories of, and also Orbital Destroyer. Okay. And with this particular one, I also got Enforcer, but on testing, this disc will not load on the A1200, and that's all I've tested up till this point. Okay, let's look at the gun itself. And this one, unfortunately, is a lot more brown than the example that originally came with this box that was confiscated by Heathrow Airport. But let's pull this through. And there we go. Now look, I've given it a wipe with alcohol wipes and the colors come up a little bit, but not much. Um, and I think I've got all the dirt off. 
Um, so I think this will be due a retro bright, and I do think it is a retro bright issue because in the right light, inside the screw holes does look a bit brighter. So I'm, I'm confident that we might be able to restore some color to this, but it's gone very yellowy brown, okay? Now the big hint here is somebody's clearly tampered with it because they've broken the seal, they've popped this one's cherry and they've put a screwdriver through the sticker to open this at some point. That's always a red flag. These always squeak and they did from new, okay? And they always stick a bit. In fact, this has come good now with a bit of work, but sometimes the trigger will stick, but actually you just roll your finger up. That's how you get work these guns. You, you roll your finger up as you release each shot and you'll be fine. Let's plug it in. Okay, so the light gun is plugged into joystick port two and the Amiga is booted up. I'm using the A1200 because I always test when I'm not sure of a device Sounds bizarre, but I tested on the A1200 before I tested on my beloved A500, okay? The more I look at this gun, the more... <laughs> it's actually not too bad, but it does need a retro bright. Okay, so we're going to put in, and like I said, spoiler, I have already tested this, so this is a reconstruction, if you will, but let's load Orbital Destroy, and this is the only game, just to let you know, that we're going to look at today. Let's put that in. Have some mint tea. And this screen is quite bright, but that it should be fine once we reboot. Oh, that's not seeing that as... I didn't mean Orbital Destroyer. I meant Skeet Shoot. <coughs> or there may be an issue with Orbital Destroyer. Let's put Skeet Shoot in. That's seeing that as skeet shoot. So there we go. that's the first time I put Orbital Destroyer in. There may be an issue with that disc, but that's okay. I can rewrite these discs. I don't actually care. Let's reboot. I haven't actually used the A1200 since I got back from the UK. So this is, um, it's nice. Because I'll be taking this to Porg next weekend. Sort of my go to travel Amiga. There we go. Skeet shoot loads up. I'm just going to bring the dark brightness down a little bit so hopefully you'll be able to see that. I'll move you in in a bit and hope we don't get any strobing. But I want a nice wide view actually when we first test this. Now look, hang on, I'm gonna need to increase the brightness. That's fine, that's, that's fine, okay. Right, now if I do the normal distance, you get the flash, but it's not picking it up. If I get nice and close, well, this was made in Amos. Which means we could make our own Oh, right. That picked it up nice and close. We'll go start game. Again, close is picking it up. Now let's see if I can have the same play experience as I had back in the day on Skeet Shoot. Right, it's, it's, it is... But suddenly it stops responding, right? Close. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn this up so you can hear when the... There we go. Okay, so you can see clearly it's working 
to a point. Um, and one of the issues with these can be simply a dirty lens. So I got my trusty cleaning cloth from my PSVR and I went to clean the lens. And that's when I realized there's something bizarre going on with this Trojan. There is no lens. <laughs> the lens is in fact missing. I can see the circle where it should sit and the grooves that it should sit in, it's missing. So <laughs> that's why I'm purposely not gonna bother loading the other games for you today and especially not Space Gun because I don't want to ruin the experience of revisiting that. It's a bit annoying because I was, given this has arrived in time for Porg, it would have been great to have an Amiga set up with a light gun for Porg. That's not going to happen. That's simply not going to happen because I need a replacement lens. George Tui has kindly offered to send me one from one of his Spectrum Magnum light phasers that isn't working because they're the exact same gun. So really appreciate, appreciate your help, George. Glad you got your ST version of this returned. Um, so yeah, in the future, once that lens arrives we will do a restoration video of this because this does need retro brighting i think that's worth doing let's bring this up to as good as we can get it it clearly works it clearly is the amiga version but it does need that lens thank you this is another unicorn for me now lotus 2 and this for watching Okay, so you can see clearly it's working to a point. Now, one of the issues...